Hi, I have a new lesson to share with you. It's actually um, starts with a lesson you've already done before, and it's work with the bead chains. And I know that bead chains are one of the lower elementary favorite works. And so we're going to work with our bead chains and then move it into what it will look like for us. So I want to show you my workspace here. And so I'm going to roll out a map. And I'm going to put down the five chain. This is the five, the short five chain. And I also have our five chain tickets. Now, as we look at this, we've we've done this labeling before where we have labeled the beads within the bead chain. So I'm going to take out our pieces and I'm going to lay them up here face up so I can see them. Okay. And so I am going to count my beads or since we're starting with the five chain, we already know that there are five beads here. And so we can label that with the five ticket. This is one group of five. And one, one group of five is five. Now we have five more and we can count them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna label that one right there. The tenth bead on the bead chain. So here we have one group of five is five. Now we have two groups of five equals 10. Let's see what happens when we add a third group of five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That is the 15th bead. When we have three groups of five, three times 15, three times five is 15. Now let's see when we add five more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Four groups of five equals 20. Four, five multiplied four times equals 20. Now, five, 10, 15, 20. We could count this or we maybe already know the pattern. 25 beads to get to the end of our chain. One, two, three, four, five groups of five beads. Five times five is 25. And it looks like we had the ticket from the long chain in this box as well. So I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, so let's look at this. When we have one group of five, we have exactly five. When we have two groups of five, we have 10. When we have three groups of five, we have 15. And when we have four groups of five, 20 and five groups of five makes 25. I don't think I'm telling you anything you didn't already know, but this next part is what we're going to do for our follow-up. So let me clean up my workspace and then we will start our new work. Okay. okay. Sorry about that, had a little bit of feedback going on. So I went ahead and grabbed my math journal and I'm going to turn to my next available page and we are going to do some work. Okay, I see I have a blank page here next to parts of an angle, but my work, uh, I might want to do more follow-up than this. So I'm gonna to switch to this page right here where I have enough space if I need to go onto a second sheet. I'm going to switch the screen mode so that you can see my paper a little bit easier. Okay, I'm going to title my paper multiples because the work we're doing today is multiple work. And we are going to be looking at multiples of our numbers. Um, for fourth graders, let's start with numbers one through 10, like the bead bars you've done before. And fifth and sixth graders, I want you to go up to 12 because we normally are practicing 12 when we're in class. And then I want you to give me the first um, 10, if you're doing tens, or 12 uh, numbers in the series by counting our multiples. So I'm gonna write one through 12 across the side of my paper. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve along the side of my paper. And I'm going to do the same thing across this top part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
and 12. Okay, so now I have our numbers. These are the numbers we're multiplying across the top here. Remember, if you're a fourth grader, you can stop at 10, or you can have the challenge of going to 12. I'm going to put that line right there. If you're a fourth grader, you can stop at 10. I encourage you, though, to try the challenge of going all the way up to 12. Okay, so that's the space. Fourth graders, you're within the dotted line, and sixth graders, fifth and sixth graders, you're the whole way. All right, so now we're going to look at multiples just like if we had the bead bars, but we don't. But we're going to pretend just like that we did. So if I have one, one time, I have one. And then just like counting by ones, if I have one, two times, I have two. And if I have one, three times, I have three. And if I have one, four times, I have four. If I have one, five times, it's five. And if I have one, six times, it's six. One, seven times, is seven. One eight times is eight. One nine times is nine. And one ten times is ten. Okay. You might be thinking, well, of course that's easy because those are ones. What I did each time is I had one group of one, and then I had two, two groups of one, and then I had three ones, and then I had four ones, and I just added one each time. So that's what's happening. If we had the material in front of us, that's what we would be doing. Okay, let's look at, if we're looking at our two bar. So if I have one two bar, I have two. And if I have two two bars, I have four. And if I have three two bars, I have six. And if I have four two bars, I have eight. And maybe you already know how to skip count or count by twos, and maybe you're noticing that. Two, four, six, eight. Two fives gives me 10. Two sixes gives me 12. And maybe you already know that you can just skip count this. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And we've just done our twos. I want you to keep doing this the same way for all of our numbers across the page. One group of three is three. Two group groups of three is six. Three groups of three is nine. And so on, until you have filled up the whole page. Now some of these might get tricky, but if you count each one, if you count, like if you're working on it and you need to add, say I'm doing this one, and I know that I need to add three more. So I have nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I know I have 12 and I can add three more. 13, 14, 15, and I can add it right there. Now I have 15, I'm gonna add three more. 15, 16, 17, 18, just like that. So you can just keep adding on and adding on. You will be making your own multiples table in your journal that you can use as a resource and refer back to. So your follow-up, if you're a fourth grader, is to do one through 10 by one through 10. And if you're a fifth or sixth grader, add in the 11 and 12. Make sure you take a picture of your journal page and share it back to me in your assignment page. I can't wait to see all the work that you do. Let me know how it goes. Thank you.